So I'm excited here because so many money people talk about cutting back. There's so many people who teach you how to save, but no one teaches you how to spend. Over the last 10 years, a lot of things have changed, but one thing that has stayed the same and has actually gotten deeper in the new I Will Teach You To Be Rich is this concept of spending extravagantly on the things you love and cutting costs mercilessly on the things you don't. Not just with yourself, but also with the people around you, the people that you love. A money dial is the area you love to spend on. There are about 10 money dials, there are a few more. You can look online, I wrote a big article about it, but everybody has at least one. You intuitively know what brings you joy. And the most common money dial is, anybody know? Travel. Travel's a really common one, at least people say it is. They're like, travel's my number one. I'm like, when was the last time you traveled? They're like, oh, it's been a really busy decade. <laughs> food, food is really common, especially here. This is an amazing food city, super common. How many people here, it was the first time you've ever truly thought about your rich life, specifically what you would do if you could spend more money on the thing you love? You wanna to go to every Michelin starred restaurant? Great. My rich life is different than yours, that's okay. Start from a place of possibility. What do we want our life to look like? That was amazing. And I would encourage everybody here, whether it's with your parents, your intimate partner, what, even yourself, what's possible? What do I want? My dream is that six weeks from now, you send me an email and you tell me, I saw you in SF, got my book signed, this is what I did after I implemented the book and this is what my rich life is. That is my dream.